There we go. Dude, how's it going? It's okay. I dentist this morning. I don't like dentists. I don't like dentists either. I really don't. I don't like the whole concept of dentists. I don't like going there. I don't like the smell. I don't like the sounds. I just, like, I just don't like dentists. They ask you things you can't answer. Now, why, right? why talk when you got your, when like, your like, why, why freaking you hands you jammed down my answer. throat? I got, I got a utensil on my face. Yeah. What am I supposed to say I to you? I answer you. I know. I know. It you know what the answer is? Get out of my mouth and I'll talk to you. Like, yeah, yeah. honestly, what the hell's the matter with you people? Yeah. <laughs> Days. Um, Kenny and I are trying something new today. So if you're listening, um, we are. Oh, really? What are we doing? We are. <laughs> we're gonna we're like gonna, new. You know what? We um we do so many episodes. Like we're we're like episode 206 or 207. I think we're gonna be 208. Something like that. That, that many now? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a well, lot of episodes. how many is 52 and 52? Yeah. Yeah. This is four years. Yeah. 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 This is this. You know what? It's almost uh. Yeah, it might be like today or uh, not this week or next week. Yeah, we're right, right up against. Wow, the beginning. look at us! I know four years of yapping at each other. I know. Holy people shit! People actually huh? listen to us. Anyway, what? what well, I don't I know about think? that part. I know I listen to you, but I don't know if anybody else listens to us. But that's okay. <laughs> wow. No, I don't know. Crazy I think people, shit. I think people follow along and they laugh at us. Maybe that's that's. I think that's what it is too. I'm not convinced if anybody listens. I'll listen to yeah. those two goofballs for a little yeah. bit. I don't know, but uh, it's been fun. And uh, we thought we'd try something a little bit different because we do do so many episodes that what we thought maybe we'd do is just talk a little bit about, you know, the last the last bunch of episodes, really like almost like a bit of a month of uh, a month recap, if you will. Or a two month recap, um, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. So our, I'm um, sorry. So just our first episode was December 7th. 2017 december 7th so, so we're a month away from our four-year anniversary wow yeah yeah we must have jammed in a couple extra episodes like a special ones here and there uh yeah we had a we had a handful of extras and then you know like the first That's episode awesome. is really like two well, minutes first, i don't think the first episode like we that. did much of it i think it was like 10 minutes 15 minutes yeah maybe maybe, maybe. yeah it was just us farting around uh one day i'll go back and listen to it maybe yeah um but uh, yeah, I think we need a musical theme though to start us off. Eh? We do, we do. I've been thinking about that. I, I like, I asked uh, my daughter to think about some jingles, but uh, I don't. But know. try to make it cool. Like I like, I want it like a little edgier, like Mark Maron's. Like I don't want it to be like the sort of the smartless guys. God, I love him, but it's too yeah. dorky. <clears throat> yeah, I want something anyway, with a little bit edge. I don't know. So we'll we'll screw around with it and see what we can. So That's cool. If uh, if anyone, <clears throat> if anyone has. A, a bit of a soundbite they want us to use throw it at us oh i'd love to yeah yeah we'd, we'd love that we'd love that yeah anyway so so we thought uh we thought we'd just kind of like recap what's been going on and and some trends i mean the uh we just had some like really really great guests on um you know in the last month month and a half Actually, you know, it's been, I think Rhett, this year has been a very good year, to be honest. I think we've been, we've been pretty fortunate. We've had a lot of good people on, yeah. period, over probably the last year, year and a half. Even. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, since we started doing guests, guests, they've been actually, they've been actually kind of fun. I think sometimes, I think, this, I think what you and I got into is, I can't remember if we, we just struggled this week because we had to keep moving things around, one, to find um, somebody. And I think you and I both said, we once in a while we probably should just go over like you say yeah. now like just talk about different people like i'll tell you one the ones that have been resonating with more of people that i know that listen because i know because i get either phone calls or texts and it might not be yeah. right away it could be weeks later is because obviously you know i'm 55 right so i got a whole ton of friends obviously in this age group mm -hmm. and a lot of them are going through those same things that you and I've talked about a lot over the years is, you know, how do you, you know, you're 55 or 50, like, you know, maybe not happy or transitioning. So the ones that have been getting a lot of play from my friends are like the ones um, that are the coaches or the people that have moved like Jeff, like Alan, um, you know, the ones that are just a little on the older side who have made some interesting moves and haven't fallen apart and the world hasn't shut down. 
if anything, well, the rest probably it's, exploded. It's not the end, right? Like it's not, you know, because everyone in our industry thinks of that. They think, oh, I get to this and it's the end. I have to retire or like it's a- I think that's the know, problem, like it's Yeah, it's that it's line in the sand right? and there is no line. Yeah. It's your line. Draw yeah. it wherever you want. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're well, 60 and, and years like old and don't want to retire, I, don't. Well, you and I have different lines, right? Like you drew a line and said at 50, I got to make a move. At 50, right? I needed to make a decision. Yeah. 50, I needed to I needed to get out of London, yeah. not because I needed to get out of London. I needed to get yeah. out. Yeah. Like for me, for me to do be yeah. whatever I am, yeah. I needed to do that. I couldn't do it from there. And and my my line wasn't different, right? I watched my dad struggle through, you know, middle management in his 60s, yeah. you know, petrified he was going to lose his job because we didn't finish the mortgage or there were bills to pay, yeah, right? Exactly. I, I always vowed that that would never happen to me, right? That I'd be out and doing my own thing. Uh, I just got out a little earlier and stressed out about mortgages a little bit earlier than that. So, <laughs> well, and plus you didn't learn too many, like you, you keep, you kept, you kept doing it, right? You, I don't know about you, you were different. Yeah, yeah. You're, 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 you're way much younger. Like you, you've gone through too many positions. Like I can't, I mean, that would have freaked me out. I won't even, I mean, I went from, I went from I university to one. Yeah, that was I, it. Love it. I, I, I mean, love it. Fuck, like I, I, mean, I love it. I've just learned so many things. No, like, I wish I had done it your way to some degree. Yeah. I mean, I don't regret the way I did it, Yeah. but I think it's kind of cool that you were, you had some nuts and just bounced around a little bit. I, I was too scared. Mm. Seriously. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's why it took me so long. That's probably why I had to wait till 50. Yeah. 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 Right. Cause you get to that point you think, okay, I, I don't want, I can't wait much longer. I mean, you, time starts to run out to some degree. And I think that's what I, I got. So we had um, in the last week, for example, I've got another buddy's my age and the same thing, thinking of um, transitioning, yeah. moving on, you know, and, and, and scared. Or, I mean, I think he's scared. I think rightly so, because he's been the same thing, same thing that I was with London 25, 30 years, and you get into that fear thinking, ah, oh, man, like, what happens? Yeah. And my thing was nothing. You yeah. go, you find something, you don't like it. Now that you've done it once to quit, it's not hard to quit twice. Yeah. And yeah. so you bounce around. And I said, you know, and quite frankly, at, at our age, why do you want to go work for anybody anyway? Yeah, it's true. Like this it's consulting true. gig and this this kind of floating around thing. And he would be good. He'd be actually, if he took a coaching course, he'd be a good coach. Very level-headed, very bright, mm -hmm. very personable, mm -hmm. right? I like but that. I think the Jeff ones, um, I mean, Jeff hasn't slowed down. I don't know what Jeff's doing. Jeff's out of control. Jeff's. You know, Alan has slowed down a little bit, but even Alan's a bit out of control because he's still bouncing all over the place. I, I, but I do I like this. I do like these people who are trying different things. So and I, I love I the coaches. Too, so I've I've actually jumped into Rise Market. So Jeff's kind of one of one of his many many plethora of ventures, right? Uh, and I love it actually. How so cool is that I've though? Right? Ordered twice, it shows up at my door, and then we laughed about mm -hmm. it, right? Because last time last time we laughed about how everyone goes to Rise Market. Rise Market is like a um, it's a great place to get healthy snacks and healthy alternatives the way you would at like a Whole Foods, but um, at a much better costing structure. Um, These they they're they're competitive, membership right? Membership structure. And so the pricing has been really great. And then the thing I laugh about is the kids love it. My girls love it. And they, um, they're they all in on the snacks. So we're actually buying snacks out of Rise Market. Because How cool is that, right? Uh, it's, you know, like, because, you know, like you, you go to the grocery store and get junk, right? Like sugar junk or salted junk. And now at least we're getting um, keto friendly, gluten free, you know, all of that kind of stuff, right? right. So it's, uh, it's really great. It's really great. But you think about it. Lots of cookies and not gain weight. It's terrible. Uh, that's okay, too. That's, that's a good thing. But yeah. think about it. You're 60 years old. You leave. Actually, I use this example with my buddy. I said, you know, here's a guy. 60 or almost 60 leaves a big big job big, big company big like big like, like i mean i'm talking like thought. seriously we're not talking yeah. a bullshit job like i mean that's a big job yeah and you know what just did it yeah maybe has more means than a few others etc but you still have to have the guts to do it because a lot would just just call it a day yeah if anything i don't know what the hell he's seriously he's <clears> too busy i don't know what he's got a Got to take a take, find some time to sleep a little bit or something. But why would you go into retail? See, that would have been our first day thinking, wow, really? You want to do retail? So, and, and good and on I, them. I don't mean to like lay it on thick or anything like that. Um, 
and or and I don't mean it to be disrespectful too, but even when you look at um, the work he's done, like so he's he's left, he's doing his own thing, he's got some like eight companies or nine companies, probably since we talked to him, maybe it's even more, I don't know. Who knows? But um, but and then the other thing is like he has adapted to the things that evolved when he was um you know that, that weren't there like the LinkedIn right. thing like he is posting like Jeff is he's actually good though he's good posting LinkedIn now right like he posts like crazy and I yeah. think and they're not um sorry Jeff if you're listening I I, I mean oh, I can, I'll I pick on him too I'll say the same thing you're Dude, probably gonna we, say so we, I don't we know. love you Whatever. I'll just be really clear about that we love you but they're not dad posts right like he's no he's not being um He's not being cringy or dodgy or somewhat no. sketchy. Like you, you can always tell when people are new at it and they don't kind of know what they're doing. Well, they're saying things you're thinking. Like you're not 25, buddy. You, you can't yeah, use that terminology. Right it's not there, you, right? Like, yeah, I know. right. And I do some. I mean, I mean, I'll, I'll pick on him because why not? I think sometimes I read him and think, well, that's a little sappy. But I get it. That was good. I mean, I, I still read it, and I still, I probably still clicked him a like. Oh so yeah. So they're kind of dad like, but not dad like. Like you're not using, you know, woke or terminology that you know everybody under thirty is going to think. What do you? What do you? Yeah. You're not allowed to talk. That Nobody way. over thirty can can actually say lit and do it properly. No, and they're not allowed to. I think. No, I think it's actually allowed. a rule somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. But I do. I find Jeff's post interesting. I really do. You know, like I do, I find, um, I find, I find Fata's posts interesting, right? I find a lot of those guys who, yeah. who are, I mean, not that Fata's, you know, old, old, but yeah, you know, he's not 25 anymore either, but I do, I find him, I find these guys are just interesting. And I think if, if you're younger, um, you know, they're, they're not bad reads. They're, they're, they're not bad things to kind of think, huh, oh, that's interesting. I am. Um, right? I, I look at our episodes, the, the. There's three in the top six that we've done in the last, like, I guess, six episodes. Three of them are people who um, literally follow their passions, regardless of where it went. Who? Um, so Ave Maria. Oh, I like that um, one. Right with the uh, with the etched like the landscape. Yeah, that was pretty the, cool. Like that's that's a. It's like this unlikely. It's an unlikely business, right? Like, well, I think that's what, a part of the intrigue. I draw landscapes. What do you do with I, them? I, I, I put them on t-shirts. I put them in really? frames. You think like, you know, really? Like, that's a business? I sell them for like a hundred bucks a pop easy, right? Wow, and that's a business. Be, <laughs> but, but when you look at them and you go, hundred bucks a pop, I'm not paying for that. And then you look at them and you go, holy shit, these should be twice that price, right? Like, <laughs> well, that's just it. Well, I got to get my laptop um, one still. And, and she, like, so she has those, they're unlikely. And yet she has them everywhere. She's online. And then she's in, in Billy Bishop airport and wants to get to airports, right? So cool. I think it's cool. I do. Um, I mean, I think her, I think her, and it's, you know, I'm not, I'm not discounting it that way, but like, it's a nothing. It's, it's an idea that, you know, if, if, like you said, if someone told me that I'd be thinking, well, that's a nice hobby. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'd make it a business. I think, you know, you gotta be cautious that you would tell your uncle about and your uncle would go, Oh, maybe you yeah. should stay in school. Right. Yeah. Like, that's or exactly you tell your mom and dad, they say, right? oh, that's nice. Phil, yeah, that's, that's nice. a nice boy. Yeah, you yeah. do good work. Go get a real job, though, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> do you want to I have the old lemonade stand in the Yeah. Do you want to phone Uncle George? He still has a spot in the store yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's there's them. There's um, Stu from Beast and Buckle. Uh, I liked him. He's, I liked went, him. I just liked him. Right? I thought he was Love my dog. Um, nice guy, though. Online. Let's build a effing store, right? Like, yeah. Super passionate, though. It's amazing, really. Like he's he's just uh, you know, and then and then the last one was the one we just had. So Amy Remark, right? Yeah. Um, and like she loves biking. So what did she do? She built a bike store, like a bike apparel store for women. And I think like all three of those are just love what you do and then yeah, go do it. And actually you can make Literally you can make a business it. and make some money out of it. Yeah. Right. Because I mean, I always tell people the same. I know people get, oh, everybody should follow their passion. And I, I don't necessarily disagree. You just have to understand that most yeah. of our passions don't lead to food on the table. Yeah. You will find that you can follow your passion all day. That's great. I mean, you know, you could follow your passion to be the next uh, great guitarist and you may be a good guitarist. You, you're not going to make it. You realize that, right? Like you're not going to eat. Yeah. But yeah. you can follow your passion. I have no issue with that. But I do like these other ones who are following and said, you know what? I think I can make a few pennies at this. And have actually shown us in three separate episodes that in fact, they can make a few pennies at this. 
Yeah. And all three were pretty sound business people in a sense, right? Yeah. They weren't, they're, you know, especially, um, especially Pat. What's his name again? I can't remember. I lost the name. Stu. Honestly. Stu. Stu. Yeah. I don't know why I, why I can't think of Stu. Okay. It's like three letters. I mean, yeah. seriously. It's okay. But anyway, I, I liked Stu because Stu talked like someone who had been in business for 20 years. Now, I don't know if maybe he's just reads voraciously. Um, I mean, he did procurement. I think it was in, in the, the military. Yeah. Um, so he did understand supply chain yeah. and things like that. Yeah. But you know, spending someone else's money on budgets, those, I mean, really, it's not quite the same as when it's your own. No. And yet he talked close. like he was so, yeah. Man, I seriously, I thought the guy's in retail for 30 years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, cool. I still can't get over how, how, how well tuned in he was. Like, it was yeah. really good. I really yeah. enjoyed it. The conversation. I, I thought it was really cool. And I, I, uh, I like him. I, I like Stu a lot. I think he's got a lot going on. And then, right. and then Amy, right? Amy's just, Amy, I loved Amy. Yeah, she's the fact that she realized you can't buy women's clothes for her sport, which I still find mind bending in Vancouver. I I, I, I don't get it. I mean, like just overall, the fact that it's so hard to find like, you know, women all over the world are are getting into sports and playing like serious sports. Exactly. Like seriously, there's this drought of like, how though? Apparel. I I don't actually get that. So, but I, I got very, um, egocentric here in that this is vancouver i'm looking at well i'm not looking at the mountains now because there's freaking clouds all over but there's mountains behind those clouds like we have bike yeah. trails and millions of bikers in this city like yeah. off-road not doesn't have to be hardcore maybe like amy but lots of people who would be yeah. looking like where active. are they buying their stuff very then? very active yeah but nobody so no think about it though like think about weird that is so like even a sport check like someone like nobody big has figured out that 50% of the population are women. And even if 20% of the biking community hardcore is women, that's still a lot of women. That's a lot of women. It's a that's a, that's a, that's a nice, like, you know, you know how we, <laughs> cause you've done it. So if I, you know, when you do that bullshit thing, well, there's 6 million people, billion people on that planet. And if I take 4% of 4% of 3%, I down to, I got about a million people. Yeah, You're yeah, thinking, yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. We can all do that math. Yeah. That's horseshit. Yeah. I mean, this girl doesn't have it's to a, do that. It's the number is the number. Yeah. If there's 10,000 women in the lower mainland, we got two and a half million people. If there's 10,000 women who are avid bike riders on trails. There's no place to shop. That's a few. That's a number number. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. It's uh, honestly, the whole thing's crazy. I I'm anyway, I'm, I'm very surprised by it. I, uh... I like that. I do. I, I think, I think they're cool. And I think Ave Maria is pretty neat too, because I, I just don't, Again, you know, you see, you see skylines and she just draws them out and figures, you know what? Shit, I like these. I think other people would like these. Yeah, I think, I mean, like, I haven't seen the Vancouver what's, one, what's but that's about okay. her, like, you and I, like, we, we talk a lot of retail with a lot of people, but I think that one's a little bit different, right? Is like, you think of that and you think of like her vision shapes where she goes, right? So yeah. it, it isn't all the same. You, you don't have to be. Like her stuff will never sell in Walmart because it makes no sense, right? Doesn't like make sense there. Billy Bishop Airport, like to be in every airport sense. in in the world, it makes a ton of yeah. sense. Like it's it's you know it's just so interesting, right? Like it's uh, it's I liked very, it. Yeah. I thought I thought honestly, I thought it was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, I really did. I think I think I think it's just again, it's there, there's 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 nothing revolutionary about it per se, mm -hmm. right? It's mm -hmm. it's it's silhouetted stick yeah. skylines we've seen yeah. lots of them but for some reason i saw when i, I remember like you, when you dropped that laptop in the table at the house that week everybody commented on it. right so cool so cool right yeah yeah and everybody knew what skyline it was i mean there's yeah. a few iconic skylines i yeah. mean like you guys do have them because you do have the you have the space needle like you've got mm -hmm. that one thing that's a last strong yeah. yeah shanghai you know would be easy because you, you, you know the ball yeah Right. Hong Kong. I mean, especially the island. Yeah. I mean, you know, that skyline. So, yeah. I mean, I, I, I think she's done a pretty cool thing. I really do. Yeah. I think. And then the other, the other two out of the six we had, uh, we had, were, were pretty HR focused, right? So we had intuitive performance. So we had engine Scott on, um, I like that one too, though. Yeah. And then, and then Kemp, right. We had on, and both of them are just interesting things, you know, right? Dialed into like it's it's really hand in hand, right? Because it's you, you build a business and then you go from 
an entrepreneur to a business and all of a sudden you got to hire people you got to make sure you treat them right you're screwing with people's lives you know all that kind of stuff absolutely right? so, yeah do you remember and this is i mean this is again i think again it's the age mellowing thing like i remember like 15 20 years ago if i had talked to um, Andrew Scott or even Kemp, I would have said, okay, I'm going to fucking HR program. Like, seriously, like, how's this going to make us money? Where's the money coming from? What are we doing? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, you'd be thinking a survey, like, seriously, another one? Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. And yet, you get to those points and you're thinking, wow, if there's one thing you've learned over 40 years in retail is that you really got to build a solid culture and you really need to be a decent coach <laughs> if you really want to kind of pop. Right. Because you can get lost in a lot of weird shit otherwise. Yeah. Well, and you are going to lose people if you don't figure out how to um, keep them on board. Right. Like I was yeah. just, I was doing some, I was doing some work for a client and I was reading um, National Retail Federation. Yeah. Thinks that the holiday this year is going to be, um, it's going to be a, a big holiday year like it's going to be plus eight percent that's our first one of, in two years right? top, no on top of last year's plus eight yeah um you I know can which see is it. insane right and so the they figure in in the u.s they're looking for somewhere between a half million and six hundred thousand workers yeah but that's that's our fundamental holiday. problem phil i understand what they're projecting we can't get to containers you can't get people yeah how are we going to hit this <clears> number <throat> like i've already told amelia and i told the family listen if you see shit don't wait. I, yeah, I said, you're going to be disappointed. Like yeah, if you see it, yeah. buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Screw the holiday. Thing. Right. You and none of us holiday. traveled last yeah. year. So it's not like there's this, yeah. you know, a mountain of money sitting there, yeah. but I think, you know what, this is the first Christmas in, it seems like forever where we can have family over opening presents. Like, I think it's going to be like the floodgates she's going to open. And well, I think we're going to go nuts on this you, Christmas. You think about Angie and Scott and, uh, and Kim, like it's hard to, it's hard to hire people. It's hard to keep people. So like now you got to keep them happy. Otherwise. Again, how do you do that in today's world? Don't know. Right. Yeah. Don't know. I mean, everybody coming at you, you got, you know, a, a, a driver in a warehouse driver, which is a critical job in warehousing, but it's never typically, um, been a 25 to $30 an hour job. Right. And now people are coming in and expecting 30 and four weeks of holiday and full benefits and God bless them. I'm not saying that they shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, I, you know, we're all into the fairness and then, but understanding that the model hasn't been set for that. Mm -mm. Like, I mean, we, we pay, I think we still pay 69 cents for bananas or 79 cents. I think that's what we are paying years ago like it's not gonna hold like you're gonna be at a dollar 19 dollar 20 and that's fine right i mean but the groceries something's got to give groceries have gone up right like you, you barely wait you know. it hasn't happened yet i mean because the retailers are still pushing back and i know a lot of wholesalers and i know they're still but, eating but your own haven't you seen your own shopping basket go up like, i've seen mine go up I don't know because we don't regular and, we don't, and, and like starches and like um, everything is taken a pop, but and, again, uh, we're not, yeah. you know, again, we're different than others in that we're not, we're fortunate. Well, right. We have yeah. different, we, we're in a different place. Like we're not in the same house as a, uh, uh, as a family making $70,000 a year living in Vancouver. Yeah. Yeah. Our household income is a little bit more than 70. Yeah. So it, it, Obviously, I'm not, we're not, you know, we're, making, we're not making trillions here, but we're in a place where it's, we can still. No, no, but, but not I, I get all that. But se. if you take, if you take that, um, that we have a bigger wallet than most people, and then you take your retailer hat off, prices have gone up, right? Everything's gone up, right? Like, yeah, and it's but slowly, and, Phil. And what I hear from you is, I think you're right, is it hasn't even really begun. Like, I think you know, the hikes are coming. We haven't really felt the shortages yet. Like Kathy and I had a whole conversation about just like really simple things like, Hey, listen, like, you know, I'm like, I'm going through and looking at all our, you know, the girls computers and things like yeah. that, trying to figure out whether I'm up to date. Cause I don't know if we get chips next year. Well, right? I tell you right like, now, if you're not up to you know, date, you're not up to date this Christmas. 
There's no chips. Yeah. We all know that, right? And next year will be worse. Uh, right? Next year, I mean, probably I mean, worse because the whole pipeline needs to be filled. There, so if you're looking for a car, you probably can't find one. I told um, you the, the story of our, our, our contractor. Yeah. You buy a $60,000 vehicle in yeah. January. It gets delivered in July or August. And the dealership's willing to buy it back 75000 cash. You haven't taken it off the lot. You just got it. And they're willing to pay $15,000 more, 25% more, um, eight months later. That's insanity. Yeah. You know what? And now, if the truck came in last week, it's probably 85000 cash. And again, I know we keep harping on it. Like, and I know probably Amelia and the kids don't like hearing it anymore. But, you know, nobody understands, really gets the container issue unless you're in the industry. Like, there's not a lot of stuff that you can bring from overseas that you fit 30,000 units in. So when the container is $30,000, that's a buck a unit, right? And if you do, it's salt. And salt's already a buck a box, let's say wholesale. Now it's $2 a box with shipping. Who wants to pay five bucks for a box of salt? But people aren't understanding that. Yeah. That's, that's what we're, when I'm, we're saying price increases, that's where again, my mom is complaining there. She goes, oh, I heard milk and butter is going up. And I think, my, cause I've been watching the news. I said, milk and butter, why? Well, the price increase price. I said, oh, it goes up every year though. I, mean, I get like it, but, but they're, they're, talking, they're talking eight to 10%. Yeah. Based on what? what? What are the cows eating? It's the same, same lawn. It's not, nothing changed. I mean, maybe the transportation is impacting them too, or maybe it's just it's part be, of, you know, the, the horse shit. Gas we'll just, and labor and all the other things that go in there, right? I guess it's the labor more so because the yeah. gas really, I think as far as I can see, gas is the same price as it was last year more or less. It's just super mm -hmm. high. Mm -hmm. We're not in Toronto where you get blessed with cheap gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, I, again, I filled up the car the other day, another 120 bucks, right? For a stupid, a stupid car. But you They're know what I'm trying to say? Man. Like when you start looking at that, wait, if milk's going up eight, that's local. What do you think stuff's going to, lettuce from California is going to do? Yeah. It's insane. It's, anyway, it's, it's interesting because it is what it is. And we'll just have to, I guess, weather the storm as best we can. Yeah. I don't know. It's crazy. I still think there's a lot of opportunity for people anyway. I do. Even, even when you sort of talk the, this minor doom and gloom, which is a blip in life, it's not going to, it's not going to be here forever, but there's some cool opportunities out there as we could show by the few people that came on recently. Some cool shit, man. I, I think it's cool. I, I do think, uh, I, I like, I like those ones. I like the, I like the HR stuff. Cause I, I think you've got to, you know, we're past the point of you yeah, have like a job, you feel lucky. Like now it's look, you, you've, you've got good people. The pressure is the other way, right? Is yeah. I feel lucky. I've got good people. How do I keep them? Yeah, how do I keep them right? Like, how do I just make sure that they are not going other places? So, yeah, yeah, that's why I'm curious to see where Kemp goes with his um, uh, with his model as well. I'm curious to see what corporations. Uh, yeah, I think how they do that. How they embrace really it. Really neat, right? Like the fact that you can see, because it is something that you never really realize, right? Like even with big companies, you do a survey every couple of years. You just have the two-year-old survey to work against, right? So you're kind of talking to unhappy people who might have gotten temporarily happy. Do you know what I mean? Like, like yeah, it's maybe. all relative, right? But right. like he actually has the ability to tell you what the public thinks. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, a whole interesting. different kettle of fish, right? So, interesting, right? Yeah. And it's gonna be interesting to see what people actually do with it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think right? it's cool. Um, the podcast is the, you know, we've just had, we've had some pretty amazing guests on. I, I think we've had a chance to, you know, we had, we had Jeff on before that. We had a whole slew of like really great names before that too. Like we had, we had Viren on from Ethical Bean and we had Patrick Higgins from Propel. And all Nick cool Saltarelli. stories, right? Like it's just been a run, right? Like, yeah. Um, I was, I, I don't know why I was thinking about Will and Shoshana the other day. Probably I think about her, but you know why? Because I see her on LinkedIn all the time. Yeah, that's true, actually. Right? She posts She posts quite a bit, right? Yeah. And I do. I find, again, it's just, it, it's weird, right? You go into stores, now you see brands. Oh, I know them. <laughs> Don't know them from a hole in the ground. Talk to them for an hour one night. Right? Look, but you do get these. You uh, and I were in store when we saw Shoshana stuff. I know. Shoshana stuff, I know. Right? Like, and, and it was in a couple like, spots. Yeah, we, we, like, I had 
stop and do a bit of a deja vu and figure yeah. out who it was, right? So, well, I took some pictures at midday, sent them back to the boys and said, Hey, yeah. what's going on here? Yeah. Limited stock on the shelf. You got a neighbor beside. Oh, why is this neighbor here? Get rid of yeah. this person. Yeah. Take the shelf space. Oh, and we've had a couple of smarty pants on. So we've had um, Liza on, Liza and Lanny. Yeah, she's smart, um, smart. She's so smart. Um, she's been in Forbes a couple of times since we talked to her. Yeah, I, I see her. St- I mean, I, we, I get oh, yeah. the newsletter. Yeah. Actually, should people, if, if people haven't signed up for that, you should plug that one. Yeah. That's a, it's a good newsletter. Yeah. Right? If you put that in the notes or... Yeah, um, I'll put, that's I'll a good one. The notes as well. Yeah, but she's always active on LinkedIn too, and she's yeah. always got some cool stuff on the go and some, I don't know, some different insights. Like it just, yeah. I don't know, cool stuff, right? Yeah, she's got some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I think from here, we uh, we're gonna have we actually so funny enough we, <clears> we actually don't we we're coming off almost like a a run of like pre books. Like I think we were booked up for six months, right? Yeah. Um, and now we're, we're starting to thin out a little bit. We have some really neat guests coming up. Um, if, if our friend Rohan uh, makes off, oh, Ro can come on. I think Ro would be a lot, would be very cool because yeah. again, it's just, um, he would be really cool. Now he's done well for himself. And two is going to come back. They're going to come talk about some of the trends they see happening. Um, and then we'll, we'll keep working at adding. Few, I got a couple others that I think, yeah. um, I'd like to hang on, have on because, just their their insight on the industry i wouldn't mind having um uh aaron back on to skeleton to see what um mm. where chf um chf like is at and what's going on right yeah. yeah heading into holiday season and then yeah i'm just curious to see what what the what what the, um sort of what the mood out there is i mean it's gotten better i think we have sort of I think we've we've all sort of gotten away from the worry of COVID. So I'm, I'm yeah. curious to see what that natural health industry in Canada, yeah, where they're where they're where they're at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. No, be yeah, interesting one too. You know, that's what's going on. I mean, um, we I I guess we don't know. We don't. I don't know how useful this will be, but um, but uh, hopefully, I mean, let us know, right? I guess we'll we'll see in the data. <laughs> we'll see in the episode downloads and everything oh, well sometimes it's just you and i just need to talk to we just haven't talked yeah. in ages because now it's making me think of some other guests that now I'm thinking, yeah. oh, maybe you know what that one i wasn't too sure about now nah, maybe it's a good fit now if you um i have a i have a curious question for you mm. so if you had one takeaway from each of the last six episodes what would it be so like if i said so so if i go if i kind of go um earlier so we had jeff smith and then ave maria scott and Ange, and then Stu, and then kemp and then amy what's your what's your one thought on on jeff like if if you could just say one thing about the episode one thing about the episode yeah. um i thought to me again it, it could be more of an age thing to me that was almost a little more inspiring just yeah. because, because I'm a, I'm a little older than you, and probably older than some of our uh, mm-hmm. some of our listeners, mm-hmm. I, I love to see, I love to see anybody in, in in an older age group that right now, if they were looking for work, work might struggle, but can do shit on their own. Mm-hmm. Like so, for me, it was a little more inspiring. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I I think the same thing. I I think that one is. Um when the end of the road isn't the end of the road. Yeah. 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 And it doesn't have to be. And if anything, like he got to the, to the end of the road and made eight forks and was stupid enough to decide, well, you know what? I'll try them all. Yeah. Fuck it. I mean, I, honestly, he said I, I have to go left or right. I'm fucking doing all. I'll, eight. I'll, just, I'll just do them all. I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll mow this field in lines, then yeah. diagonals, then yeah. horizontals, yeah. then I'll go corner to corner. Like I think, okay, but I mean, I'm sure. Yeah. Right. See where, okay. You're similar that way. Yeah. And then uh, what so, about uh, Avi? To me, almost all the other ones are more of what we talked about at, yeah. sort of at the beginning. I always love when people can make their passion a, a legit business. Yeah. Not just follow your passion, that, that bullshit. I, I'm sorry. I think that's horseshit. 
Mm-hmm. I think that's actually bad advice to tell people, to be mm-hmm. very frank with you. Right. You might like to play hockey. You like might you could play all day, every day, 24 hours. You're never going to make anything. Now, if you might, if you enjoy that, I'm, I'm not going to take that away yeah. from you. But I like the fact that that her and Stu and Amy were able to say, you know what? I, I can I can actually make I can make a go of this. Yeah. I can make a living out of this and do what I love and what I'm really good at. And I again, to me, m- more inspiring than anything. And right, and then the last two, if I look, yeah, I'm I just find God those and- I enjoy those because those aren't my worlds. I was never the HR um, or that side of it or the coaching because mm-hmm. I just didn't understand the value of it, didn't see it. Mm-hmm. And you know, again, over the last four years of doing this podcast with Lori and everybody else on, whole different appreciation. So I love when I see people being able to help others do some really cool things on stuff that really 10, 15 years ago, I would have thought, yeah, okay, whatever. My two cents, right? What do you think of the last two? Like, I think, so with Abby, I agree with all those things, but I do think the most interesting thing to me is how retail looks different. Like that is a world, you know, like selling in airports and selling, you know, art or functional art is not, not easy. Look like I've kind of done like a million jobs in my lifetime. This is not one of them, right? No. And I, I just think it's super interesting, but I do think that it is a way to help you turn, it's turned her passion into something real, right? Like something right. commercial. So I thought that was, to me, all of the things you said are true. Um, I think it's about how you turn a passion into a business, but I do think in her case, it was, it's just, it's funky because her path to retail doesn't look like anybody else's. Actually, nobody else that we've talked to no. even looks like that, right? So no. I thought that was really cool. And nothing I would have even thought of because right? I'm, I'm old school and yeah, I just, yeah, it's yeah. not a linear, Yeah, yeah. it's not a way to do it. No. <laughs> it's just yeah. it, it is the way to do it, but yeah. It might, yeah, yeah, that's not how you do it. You, yeah. there, there's, you missed all the steps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like that. Um, Love that one. I thought Engine and Scott and Kemp is about better... Um, better places to work um, yeah. and then how to think about things differently. And I have a real appreciation for that. Like, I guess being a little bit older and then having people look up to me um, or seek, well, seek our advice. Right? Advice or make, yeah, don't know, want to tap like, into you. I, I think both of these guys, you know, they make us better. Yeah. Um, I really love that. Um, I thought the Stu, Stu's thing, I thought, um, again, same thing. I, I think the passion thing is really cool. Um, the marketer in me, I think, um, the part when he talks about how he describes his marketing material, um, he writes for the dog, yeah, um, which is cool, you know, which is really cool. And, and I've looked at his stuff since then, and it is really is cool, like, it's yeah. it's not, but it's not hokey dog talk, it's not, hokey, it's not right? that, it's, not it's like, like you're, you're the owner thinking, or, uh, this you is know, the dog would think, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's none of that stuff, it's not hokey, but it is written. <clears throat> with a respect and, and a seriousness, you know, from the dog's perspective, which I find yeah. really interesting. Um, and then I think Amy's thing is like, I'm stoked for her because I think she's onto something that very, very few people are getting in our world, right? Yeah. That this is very, that the active woman has, there's a market there that nobody's really- right even started to tap yet right and then i'm she's probably the one i I, I honestly hope that she gets a van like i hope oh i'm hoping for a van too um, because we're going for the ride yeah no seriously you know why van you need help building it yeah whatever you want you know you you tell me where like i'll help you drive a couple of legs of this like no issues it'd be no issues i've I've watched you and mcgregor and charlie uh board and go man i'm I'm all over it man i'm I'm in yeah she's probably you know what i think these two idiots will never leave me alone (laughs) She says, think, okay, I'm going to have to tell these two idiots when I've already left the country because I don't want them with them for the ride. <laughs> you know what, with her though, it's probably out of everybody in the, in the you know, let's not say that, I, <clears throat> I, out of the, in the last year, because I think it's not just the passion, it's not just the retail, it's someone that was, is following a lifestyle, which may not be my lifestyle, but I just, I'm so right now, and again, it's probably just it's probably just timing in life that 
like I could see van life. I could see driving across uh, North and South America, like yeah. in the convertible, yeah. you know, cause I, I would kill myself on a bike, but you know what I mean? I can see that. So when I look at her and think, man, you know, she could just load the, 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 the van that she's going to buy because it was a great idea on Phil's part. So I think she should do it. She'll load the van and like, she's going to fucking just drive like, man, fucking Columbia or just, I don't know, man, just go and drive and she'll park yeah. and people are going to want to buy her shit and they're going to get all so stoked. Cool. Like, and it's all because it's just a cool lifestyle. Yeah. And, you know, and again, cause we're in different roles, right? We have, we have uh, dependents, we have responsibilities, we have other things and not saying she does it, but we're in a different state. Yeah. And in some ways, I think it's, it's almost envious. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But not regretful. Like, I mean, I, you yeah. know, I've made my path and I love the path I'm on, but I do watch people like her and think, oh, man, that is so cool. It's amazing. It's amazing. You're going to drive to California, park on a beach and there's going to be people buying your shit. Come on. Amy, I hope you do this. Otherwise. Oh man. Well, Amy, you got no choice. We're coming for the ride. Yeah, we're coming for you. Someone's got to change the tires. Someone's got to do lots of people. Amy. Why are you referring to me? I'm not changing tires. I'll drive. I'll cook. <laughs> yeah, we can cook. We like cooking. <laughs> you're changing tires, Amy. Forget that part. You're you're the, you're the you're the mountaineer. You you figured yeah. that part out. All the shit's gonna be hard work. That's yours. Yeah. I'll cook. Phil can drive. I can drive. Yeah, Phil can yeah, cook. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're good for that. Yeah. We'll keep you entertained. When you might want to get rid of us, but that's okay. Anyway, I think that's what's what's been cool about the last yeah sets of episodes. I told you, I think it is. They're inspiring me to do. I, I've looked, I look at things so much. I've noticed that I, it's so stupid. Again, I don't know how I say it like this, but I've, I think I've grown so much just because of the podcast yeah. and not because it's me and you. I just like talking to other people. Like, no, just, just, wow, that's are, a cool way to look at it. Amazing, right? Like, like even, seriously. Like, look, we're, we're not guys that stand still and we do a lot of stuff, but then you, you, you sit in a room, you sit in a virtual room with Jeff and you think- just, for an hour like am i just twiddling my thumbs like yeah, what, 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 what am i doing, doing man like this guy's all over the place right like right you know and then and then some of these guys the dedication and the focus yeah is, it's just it's just cool anyway yeah it's just it's just cool like it really is i had good on him anyway man, that's, that's it. all i got that's all i got I, too uh i it's nice to actually with all the guests that we've had it's still nice to just talk to you yeah, once in a while, I do like talking to you. I mean, we talked too much already during yeah, the day, yeah, but we, we never get to talk about I feel this like stuff. we're joined at the hip, actually. Yeah, it's always too much business. Like, this yeah, is more yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, thank you okay. for joining us on this episode. Mark. Yes, Sterling. hopefully Mr. Sterling enjoyed this episode. Yeah, we hope so. Because we do most things for him. So really, what, what what's the point of this, right? <laughs> All right. Let me anyway. Move. We shall talk at you. I'll probably talk to you after this podcast. Yeah. I think we got some work stuff to do today. So, okay, hold on. Let anyway, me... my friend. All right. Sign I her off. That's it. Okay. Uh...